What have you done per gear? What have you done? Look, this isn't what I was expecting, but I am excited. This is per gear's latest lens and it's a 10mm f8 body cap lens. Whew, yeah. Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang, a photographer and filmmaker. This channel is about sharing my 16 years of pro experience in the commercial world, with an aim to help you become a better photographer, videographer, or both. I also review text and gadget to help you get those shots and videos better and quicker. You will also see a lot of Olympus and Michael Forsyth's gear in this channel too, because I'm the ambassador. So smash that subscribe button and hit that bell to stay notified for all my upcoming contents. You may have seen my recent review on the 7 Artisans UFO Pan Focal Lens, which I totally love and highly recommend it to anyone who wants to shoot like Origati Brasson. And yes, as I said in the video, I also wish more people are making Pan Focal Lenses, and Pergear must have heard it, and they just made one. Well, technically, this isn't a Pan Focal, but rather a manual focus full frame fisheye lens, in the shape of a body cap, and very much like the Olympus version too. I guess you know it by now, Pergear is the premium cheap lens manufacturer. Well, I say in a complimentary way, I adore the build quality of all the lenses so far, and this latest 10mm f8 fisheye body cap lens is no exception. It has full metal build and proper glass elements again, but unlike any body cap lenses I've tested so far, it comes with an equally impressive metal push on lens cap. It looks and feels like the vintage like a lens cap too. The focusing tab is right at the front of the lens and very much like the Olympus body cap lens, but unlike the Olympus, even this little tab is made with metal. The focusing action is reassuring stiff and well damped too, to avoid accidental knocks. So overall, in terms of build quality, this 10mm f8 is possibly the best build per gear lens I've tested so far. Impressive. Well, what can I say? Like 7 Artisans, or any body cap lenses for that matter, it handles great on any Micro Four Thirds camera. Even though that this Pergear 10mm f8 is a solid piece of metal disc, at 70 gram without the lens cap, it's still much lighter than any proper lenses on the market. And it feels at home when paired with smaller body like the EM5 or yeah, pen. Of course, you can use it on bigger camera like the EM1 Mark III or the X, but they will look rather unprofessional. This per gear is a manual focus lens as usual, and you can adjust the focus by sliding the front tab. The closest focusing distance is 30 centimeters, which is a little disappointing for a micro forces lens, but it's okay for larger formats. Well, this is a body cap lens. It's thin and it doesn't have much space for a proper lens design, but still it has five elements, three of them being ED, and all packed in four groups. The result is pretty spectacular, but don't expect professional performance though. However, it's definitely outperformed the Olympus body cap lens by quite a margin. Sharpness is very even across the frame, but the center portion is still the optimum. There are some CA at the corners, but it's expected for a fish eye lens. And I did say full frame fish eye earlier. Well, I meant that this isn't a full circular fish eye like the Lawa 4mm 2.8 that I reviewed last year. So it's basically a distorted image that fills the frame. Hence, I said full frame. Ah, yeah, I said the word distorted. So there are no straight line here. But as far as an affordable full frame fish eye lens goes, it performs pretty well. Okay, like the Olympus body cap lens, the Pergear 10mm f8 is a manual focus lens with a fixed f8 aperture. Unlike 7 Artisans Panfocal, this is a fisheye lens too. 
So when you set anything but its closest focusing distance on the lens, you are practically having a pan focal because everything will be in focus. In ultra wide street photography, using a full frame fish eye can add some drama to the scenes because it exaggerates subjects that are close to the lens. And being such a good performer on its own, it can be used in conjunction with 7 Artisan's pan focal as an ultimate one two combo street photography tools. If you wonder, is it worth getting the Pergear 10mm FA fisheye over 7 Artisan UFO? Or if you already have the UFO, does it worth getting the Pergear lens too? My answer is pretty simple. Yes. Since the Pergear 10mm FA is very affordable and is a fisheye lens, which is different to 7 Artisan. And like I said, it complements each other very well. And I'm keeping this lens for my street photography projects in London. Yeah, I've said it. This Pergear 10mm f8 is a keeper. Highly recommend it. So that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. What do you think about it? Are you interested in it as much as I am? Hmm. Thanks for watching and you know what to do now. Thumb if you liked it and sub if you want to support this channel and me. Peace. Okay, like the Olympus. Oh, ooh, ah, oh, Mosadin, damn it.